Hello, Arrowkai. It's uh, Xenonix Gaming here, and I'm going to uh, cover the. Uh, the Arrowkai Feline demo. Yeah. Uh, so, right now, I'm going to go ahead and hop in because I do not want to waste your time, and I don't want to waste my time. This is my third time recording it because last time I breathed in the mic like a fat kid. Uh, oh god, there I go again. Uh. Right now, the Arrowkai is launched. Okay. Freaking number one, Arrowkai, when it launches. It's not set a release date. There's no release date for it. Don't ask. Don't ask at all. It just makes the mods angry. It rustles their jimmies. Do not ask. I don't even. I couldn't even tell you. I'm not even uh, a part of the team. Not at all. Uh, so, yeah. They've been working on it for quite a long time. Like, more than f three years at least uh because i know i've been waiting for it for three years i've just been kind of just lingering about like a ninja not really i'm not a ninja i'm not in shape to be a ninja uh so yeah right now i'm just gonna go ahead and say this is the feeling demo the editing it took me forever to find how to edit my feline for the first three times I played it, I was like, what the hell is going on? What you have to do is you have to go up and you have to, like, th this menu pops up. And, yeah, I, I was retarded and I didn't know. It's actually pretty sad on my part. Um, so, yeah. Uh, everything is kind of fancy. I like it. It's more stylish. It's smoother. It's smoother is even a word. Uh, it... It's just higher quality than Feral Heart, in my opinion. And I'm sorry I'm comparing this to Feral Heart, but it's the only game that will be any competition to Arokai. Even though it's heavily outdated. Because the models look like potatoes. And bananas. Potato bananas. Or would that be banana? I don't even know. Just moving on. Uh, so yeah, the editor settings... Uh, probably my favorite feature would be the emoticon creator. I thought that was badass. I think that whoever came up with that was cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go on what I think would be cool to be put into the, the model thing. Uh, saving your emoticons. Uh, we all know Feral Heart. Or those who play Feral Heart, I'm pretty sure a lot of the Feral Heart community is in the Arrowcat community. I'm just gonna spit that out right now. Uh, sue me. Um, yeah. Uh, Feral Heart has uh, preset emoticons, so that means that uh, you can't really customize them unless you know how to do the little numbers things. I tried it, and I ended up looking. Making my poor creatures look... Well, it's... Have you seen those photos when that deformed thing is saying, Kill me? That's what my creatures look like when I tried to edit emoticons. Do not try at home, kids. Uh... I also think that we should be able to adjust the brows. We should be able to... I don't like how the tongue goes through the mouth the lower jaw a little bit that looked kind of funky but i this is a demo it's old i'm pretty sure they've probably fixed it everything the animations are just like poop obviously i see it in the readme read the readme if you haven't good god now <clears throat> i'm on the forum uh this is where the, this is a thread where you find it obviously you just click on the download and you're good to go while I'm on this page, I'm going to go ahead and get into Tumblr questions. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and quote them because I read them way too much and I kind of memorized a few. I might look, I might go back and look. Uh, one would be, oh, also from Ideas and Should Guest Change Board. Yeah, I'll go there too. Uh, yeah. God, I, my train of thought is dying. Or just blew up into tiny pieces. Uh, okay, here we go. Physics engine. Will player models have physics engines? Physics engines, basically, your your player model has its own physics. Physics times ten. Uh, your each, like, foot, paw, hoof thing adapts to the turn around it. 
Um, basically, it's like its own system. Like, God, like, you know how in those AAA games when your feet just adjust to the turn and your player has its own physics? It's just a physics engine, God. I'm just gonna say that 20 times physics engine. Uh, so, Onel answered that question, God bless you, and she said, yes, or no, she, she said maybe, she's been considering it for a few weeks, or several weeks, and then she put a winky face, she put a freaking winky face in there, and you know what that means? That means I'm up to something, or I'm on to something, perhaps, I don't know, um, going on, uh, Dance moves, or dance animations, someone asked about that, They, uh, how many there would be, and then uh, I forgot who answered, but the staff answered with, uh, I think you'd be pleased with uh, what, we'll, what we'll give you. And I'm like, oh, that's neat, we have more dance animations, what could you freaking do? I've never been much of a dancer in the game, but maybe I will be inspired to dance more. Um, okay. Oh wow, just a new question popped up on the Tumblr. What is with the old four-legged wyvern, wyvern model? The old model, oh, here's what Onel's answer is. The old model, also known as the original model, is what we've decided to use for Arokai. We did have a four-legged model, four legs, not including the wings, but we're going with the wyvern, two legs, including the wings. We may have different options in the far future, but that's yet to be seen, really. That makes me happy. Uh, if you guys have played Skyrim, which is an enormously popular game, everyone loves it besides haters, or people who prefer Morrowind. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Skyrim dragons pretty much, they're two-legged, and they use their wings to help them walk. I've always loved that dragon type anyway. It's better. I don't care what you have to say. It's much better. Uh, so yeah. I thought that was Nito Fajito. Uh, there's also, um, God, you know what? This is pretty sad. I can't remember anymore. I'm going to search for it real quick. If I can't find it within like 20 seconds, I'm going to quit and just move on to the next topic. Oh, this place is like a labyrinth of questions. There's so many people saying thank you, but there's not enough questions I can use. Mmm. Okay. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I can't find it, but, um. I don't know. I'm just gonna move on to my own questions. Okay. Topic, personal questions, speculation. Alright. First, I'm gonna go to the I want or I need. Uh, I need translates to I want, but since I'm American, the things I want are the things I need. America. Alright. I need severe weather. That means thunderstorms, tornadoes, hurricanes. And when I'm talking about tornadoes, I'm talking when you're an owl, when you're an owl and you're f just flying in the sky, you're gonna be in bad luck, buddy. And tornadoes is gonna suck you right up there. I don't think this will ever happen, but I think it'd be cool if it did happen. I gotta make videos about that. Little crappy stick animations that will be considered concept art. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, the physics engine. Obviously, I want that implemented because it makes the game better. Um, also. Uh, good god. Okay, severe weather. Yes. Um, adjusting the size of proportions or whatever on the uh, teeth and the claws. Yes. Do this, please. I need it. Uh, when you want a saber tooth animal, even a freaking saber tooth deer, buck tooth deer, I don't even know. Just adjust the size and you can just freaking look awesome uh also adjust the size on claws so you look more intimidating i do not see claws on the the feline model but it's old to, from 2010 or whatever so can't exactly judge from here um also probably main physics maybe or will that kind of go to the player model engine i just hit my mic with my notebook thingy 
uh, like on your main flops around when you run. That might be hard to implement, but it, I don't know. Uh, I don't know anymore. Uh, of course, improved animations. This is a demo. Of course, the animations aren't really good. This is like an early testing model. And yeah, I'm, I'm pissing around with the motor creator, of course. That's what I like to do. Okay, now moving on to... Also, I thought this would be neat when you like to play those really messed up, gory role plays. I think there could be an option in the creator or something about, uh, like, choosing to implement s blood splatters on you. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here are the questions. I remember them now. Uh, eating, just like having your character be able to eat, and in game currency was one of my questions on the Tumblr. Oh, now answered, eating for fun without hunger bar anything? Maybe. And then she said no for in-game currency. Of course, I would think so. I think they want to make this seem as free as possible. And in-game currency might lead to the wanting of microtransactions and, well, using that in-game currency for other things. Even though not like in-game currency you can trade between players, but like maybe little shops or something. No, probably not. I shouldn't even get my hopes up. Um, having to uh, bring- oh yeah, playing multiple characters at once. I saw this question on the Tumblr and I was like, oh my god, this is an amazing question. Because, uh, I think Carnage answered- I oh, got it, I don't even know. Someone answered, uh, I think they said maybe. And they said, like- they are thinking about something like you can choose three to five characters or whatever and then bring them with you and they'll like walk around you and stuff kind of like like dumb AI that just follow you around and you can like toggle the switch between them with a key or whatever and so you won't have to like log out and then log back in and all that crap you have to do on feral heart I thought that was an amazing idea and I want that I want to see that in a game so yeah, when this game launches, when I'm in my late 80s, I want to see that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can come up with right now. I forgot the rest. Oh yeah, here's another one. Your eyes move. In both this demo, and in the other demo, and in Feral Heart, we don't see your eyes move, and it's really creepy actually. Because it's just like staring in space, but at least the ones in Feral Heart blink. I don't think I saw that in the other demos. I might have, it might be in the K9 one, but it's not in this one. But this one's old. I'm getting Facebook messages. Anyway, I thought that'd be cool. Like your eyes can flick around, uh, so it gives your character more life. Um, of course, moving meshes like the grass and like really huge fields just like move in the meadow. That'd be graceful, and it also would be good for those role plays where like two lovers are running at each other in the sunset flowers are flying oh my god that brings me to another question when you go through objects and stuff like plants can they move with your character like like when you see in those video those triple a games when you walk through grass that grass freaking moves and i think that's cool and maybe also footprints like when you're in the snow maybe you should leave footprints behind or in the sand. I also want to see a lot of sand stuff. Also, picking up meshes. Being able to go and, like, click on an object that is, like, just pick it up and then, like, bring it with you. Like a bone, it can make you look cool. Or an apple, for all I care. Um, yeah, that'd be neat. Also, another one. Your ears and stuff flick without having to click an animation just to give your create your more life also another one uh and as many of you may have discovered in the feline demo if you press the f key your feline does this really cool aggressive pose thing i don't know what you would call it when his tail's raised and he's flicking it and stuff like i'm gonna i'm gonna beat you up kind of kind of pose I think there should be more poses, that would be really awesome, but I'm pretty sure there will be more, like, dancing and also just aggressive, submissive, all that stuff. I would love to see it. 
Also, being able to move your tail and crap, like adjusting your tail height, like as a dog. When your tail is all the way between your legs, you're gonna be a wimp. When your tail's all the way raised, you're like an alpha. It should be like that. I would love to see that. I think I posted something like that in the ideas board. Also, I saw someone else post in the ideas board. Um, good god, what it okay. The little bubble hovering over your character or something, or some indication that you're typing so people won't think you're AFK or ignoring them or anything. I freaking hate it in Feral Heart when I'm trying to type out a damn post and then someone's like, Oh my god, are you there? And then they'll just keep spamming you, and I can't answer their question because I gotta finish my freaking post. Gah. I think a lot of you know this feel, and I think that having a little bubble saying we're typing would be fantastic. I also think that, you know, the character limit in your posts in Feral Heart is crappy. I think there should be, like, maybe a thousand character limit. That'd be cool. I like, I need a lot of words in my post. And also, I think, uh, the group thing, I think we should be able to apply ranks in groups, because that's neat. Applying ranks and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so this is the end of the footage for Arokai, but I'm still gonna talk a little bit, simply because I want to. We've got a few more seconds left, guys, let's just wait, you see I'm fading out, oh my god. Alright, oh, there's still a little bit left. Okay, now it's gone. Now, moving on. I'm not moving on, am I? I'm just gonna keep at, like, wanting stuff. Applying ranks and groups. Like, you could, like, tag someone as Alpha, and people... Like, it could maybe highlight your name or something. Alpha, or whatever, of your group. I think, uh, clans, or whatever. Your pack, or whatever. Ugh, God, I say whatever way too much. Whatever. Anyway... Yeah, that could be- that would be cool. Also, there should be, um, instead of just a mediocre local chat, I think there should also be, like, squad chats. Not necessarily, like, the party, because other people can see it, but I think maybe the chat could be highlighted a different color in that local area. So it could, like, lead to, like, little post cutting, so people only in that colored group can post but it doesn't have to be in like general so everyone hears it but it just being local so only a select few people can hear it this could help with fighting role plays and like because i know i have this problem with my role play because i want people to hear what i'm typing but i don't want them to interrupt me and also there's just so much of one color it gets confusing and uh yeah noises there should i think they already said something about noises, though. I think they're gonna have, like, animal noises. That'd be- that'd be cool. That'd be neato fajito. So, yeah, that's all I've pretty much got for now. Um, yeah, that's all I- that's all I want. Uh, any more stuff that would be, like, just any other suggestions that I can see, I will make a video about it, and I will freaking read that crap. Because there is a lot of good- like clever people out there who just post the neatest stuff and I'm like why didn't I think of that and then I get angry at them and I yeah so that's pretty much it for now uh, please comment any ideas you have and I might put them in my video uh, please like I'm not gonna force you to subscribe but that would be nice if you could subscribe it will make me happy because this is a new channel and I need to make up because I had a little bit of subscribers on another channel but anyway see you guys please comment like subscribe all that crap those other youtubers ask you to do